Hey there, everybody. Hey, um, this is, <laughs> this is a Friday edition, free coaching Friday edition of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. I'm your host. And, uh, I just got a lot of moving pieces this morning. Cause I'm going to try and show you a couple of things, but Hey, uh, it's great to have you here this morning. When you get here, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, do what Keith just did. Drop me a comment, say hi. So I can say good morning back to you and Joe. So uh, good to have both of you here with me this morning. So um not sure what to call today's installment. So I'm just going to get started with it and we'll see where it goes. But I, I got an email. So I had a coaching session last week, one of those introductory type sessions where we just sit down and chit chat and talk and you get, um, Hopefully you get some of the best coaching you're going to get and you can go off and, and do great things. So this is an email I got from one of those clients. Ah, that is a good cup of coffee. And I just wanted to share part of it with you because I thought it was, um, well, it's pretty good. I'll let you hear. Hello, Tom. Thank you so much for the session last week. Wisdom and practical experience you shared gave me many pointers and areas of consideration, which could help me get my business off to a solid start. You also encouraged me, see if this sounds familiar to any of you. You also encouraged me to consider my why and gave me links to materials to help me do that. So I did. Up to that point, my why had been for the thrill of the chase, to build a community and build something that would add value to my community at large. I thought going deeper into the why was pointless. You ever thought that? I thought going into the why was pointless, but I trusted you and your experience, so I did. As you suggested, I dove into my why and defined what success means to me, then applied that filter to my decisions. What I found surprised me of my six markers of success, only one one was supported by my business vision. Two were neutral and three worked directly worked against my definition of personal, personal success. <clears throat> um, so she goes on to say that at this time, she's not going to pursue the business in that form because of these conflicts. Now what's happening here? I mean, this is, is, is this a good thing? Right? I think it is. I, I think it is from two perspectives. One, it's much better to find out early if something's not going to work than it is to get uh, m- many months and many thousands of dollars into it to find out it's not going to work. But more importantly, more importantly, it's super important that we understand why we're pursuing something. Without doing this work, <clears throat> she had created this perception of why she was pursuing this project, only to find out that that idea didn't support any of her personal definitions of success. In fact, it was in conflict with the majority of them. So by doing this, she was able to find out that not only and while this I, this business idea might be a great idea, might have some legs on it, might go somewhere, it's not the right thing to pursue. And that's a hard thing to hear sometimes. You've heard me tell the story about ugly babies don't make ugly babies, the, the businesses that only you can love as its parent. I, I think she was well on her way to doing that. And what she would have found out, what she would have experienced was that while the business might be successful, she would be very unhappy. And look, it doesn't matter if it's your business, if you're working for somebody else, leading somebody else's business, or just organizing the community garage sale. If it does not move you toward your definition of success, (coughs) You need to do something else. I'm going to do something else. Get another sip of coffee. <clears throat> Must be allergies again. I don't know where all that's coming from this morning. So 
just like this person did, right? I mean, this is a great breakthrough. I'm so happy that she was able to do that, and I want you to do that also. Take some time to figure out your why. Now, one of the tools that she used to help her figure this out is something I've been mentioning to you over the last couple of weeks. This, there it is, Fast Five. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do something I hadn't done here. This will be new. Oh, look, there's the screen. So you can go to uh, tomrigsby.com slash fast five and go. It'll start there with a little video. Drop your name and email in there. And then here's an overview of the five units. All right. It, it just the in unit one own it. That's the one where she found out about her why and whether they were supporting or in conflict. So head over there and check that out. It's a free gift. My free gift to you, just tomrigsby.com slash um, fast five. That'll get you to the right place. Uh, and then you can use that as a tool to help you figure out your why. And then, of course, the following sessions help you put together an action plan to move forward. And while you are going through it, if you have any questions, comments, or difficulties, you can always email me, tom at tomrigsby.com. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there today. I hope this has been a helpful week for you. If you have questions, comments, or topic suggestions for next week, go ahead and drop me a message here on Facebook or send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. If you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, do yourself a favor. Head on over to Facebook. Uh, the easiest way to find it is 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll take you to the right Facebook page. Join our community here. Join the conversation. And... Um, contribute. That's all I ask. If you're going to listen, do make a little contribution every once in a while. All right. Hang on. Dog on that cough. So you guys, so it's been a great week for me. I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, it's Friday, tomorrow, Saturday, the weekend. If you are able, if you're so motivated, rest up, spend some time with those important relationships that we tend to not do so much during the week, they will appreciate it. And uh, in turn, you will too. I'll be back again Monday with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you then. Take care.